This is Duke University. So if you wanted to make uh, the apostle into a, a punk rocker with red hair, you can certainly certainly do that. Mark Olson, a professor of art, art history and visual studies, co-created a hands-on exhibit at the National Museum of Art at Duke that allows visitors to use technology to color medieval statues. As you touch a different zone of the statue, the interface pops up with a color palette. Olson collaborated with electrical and computer engineer Mariano Tepper, along with their team of computer scientists, historians and students, to develop custom-made software that wirelessly links two iPads to a projector. So we had art historians sitting and coding side by side with um, with uh, with the computer scientists. Olson and his team want visitors to see the sculptures in color so they can appreciate how they were created centuries ago. You're then offered the opportunity to read about the history of the pigments that went into the construction of these paint colors. We knew they were a part of a, of a, of a facade, most likely, uh, entrance to a church, and that they were designed to really catch the eye of the, of the churchgoer. And so we can recreate that experience of kind of awe and, and wonder. I think that would be, be ideal. So I'm going to choose a halo color. Hmm. Visitors enjoy getting the chance to play a part in bringing history to life. You kind of feel apart from the art when you're in a museum and it's kind of like presented as this thing behind behind glass or behind you know that's untouchable but it's kind of neat to put your own little mark on it. The concepts catching the eye of other museums who have approached Olson about using the technology with their exhibits. We knew we were successful when parents were coming over and nagging their children saying it's time to go and they say no no I want to stay and and paint some more. Reporting for Duke University, I'm Julie Schoonmaker. Produced by Duke University.